Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar are speaking out for the first time since their son, Josh Duggar, was found guilty on two counts of receiving and possessing child pornography. The pair released a statement to Access Hollywood saying they will continue to pray and love their son. The statement reads, quote, This entire ordeal has been grievous. Today, God's grace, through the love and prayers of so many, has sustained us. Our hearts and prayers are with anyone who has ever been harmed through CSAM. In the days ahead, we will do all we can to surround our daughter-in-law, Anna, and their children with love and support. As parents, we will never stop praying for Joshua and loving him, as we do all of our children. In each of life's circumstances, we place our trust in God. He is our source of strength and refuge. Thank you for your prayers. Certain family members, such as Derek Dillard and Amy Duggar King, also reacted on social media to the news. Moments after the conviction, Duggar had an emotional exchange with his wife, Anna Duggar. According to People, as the former reality star was led away in handcuffs after his conviction, he was allowed to briefly stop by the gallery front, where his wife was sitting next to several people, including his dad, Jim Bob Duggar. The publication reports that Duggar became distraught as he spoke to his 33-year-old wife. Although his face was covered with a mask, his eyes reportedly tightened and his face crumbled while talking to her before he was escorted out of the courtroom. After the verdict was reached, Clay Falks, the United States Attorney for the Western District of Arkansas, spoke out outside of the courthouse, sharing about the significance of the case. This case represents a significant milestone for the Western District of Arkansas and our continued efforts to combat child abuse. Those who would say that children who are photographed and videoed in a manner similar to the evidence in this case are not abused and are not victims are clearly wrong. Children who are photographed and videoed in manners such as this are the victims. And every time their videos and photos are traded online, uploaded and downloaded from the internet, they are victimized all over again. Every single time that that happens. This case is, it represents a milestone for a lot of reasons. But one of them is, is that it demonstrates that this work is very important. And our office has, has uh, expended the resources necessary to combat child abuse in Western Arkansas. Duggar's trial began last week in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Motions to have the charges dismissed were denied back in September, six months after he pleaded not guilty at his arraignment. The 33-year-old father of seven faces up to 20 years in prison and a potential $250,000 fine on each count. His sentencing date has yet to be determined and he will remain behind bars in the meantime. Duggar was pictured smiling in his booking photo taken after the verdict was announced. In a statement to Access, Duggar's legal team said they respected the jury's decision and intend to appeal. According to NBC News, prosecutors argued that he had downloaded and stored child sex abuse images on his work laptop using a Linux partition that avoided documenting browser history. Defense attorneys claimed that someone else obtained the images in question and Duggar's personal devices did not contain any illegal material. In 2015, Duggar was accused of molesting multiple underage girls, including two of his sisters, when he was a teen. He issued a public apology saying he had behaved, quote, inexcusably and was, quote, extremely sorry for having, quote, hurt others adding that he felt deep regret and his parents had arranged counseling for him and those affected by his actions. He was never charged. Days before Duggar's arrest on child porn charges, he and Anna announced that she was expecting their seventh child. She gave birth in November and publicly supported him throughout the trial. 